What's going on, everybody? Gentleman94 here. Welcome back to the Kylo Ren lightsaber rebuild here on Men Builds. We are right in the midst of things. We are pushing through this lightsaber. Last episode, we removed all the internal ribbing that we didn't need, all the support structures for the uh, different parts and pieces. We dremeled out the, the wire that was molded in plastic. I've sanded this thing down, taken out all the writing that we need to take out, and this thing is looking ready to go. I've been working a bit in this area here. I do have a wire that's cut to shape and cut to length. It's white, but I'm gonna airbrush it red to fit in with everything else. These side emitters are gonna have to be redone, and we have our top cap and bottom cap that need to be painted. Now, I've been looking around for parts and pieces I could use for the internals of this thing, and we're going to work on the emitter today, and I did find this really cool-looking sprinkler pipe part, and we can use this maybe for something. I don't know. We have a lot of little parts and pieces that we have to scratch, so let's go ahead and see what I've got. This is here as a bottom of a sprinkler head. I'm going to be using that. Let me just zoom in here and show you what kind of what I was originally thinking. Now, inside the lightsaber would be a kyber crystal, and it would have some sort of a crystal support. And this, I was kind of thinking, might be a cool crystal support. I could put it down inside and build the crystal into that, and that would be really kind of cool. But then I thought, no, maybe I'll move it up, and I'll use it as the emitter, at least the emitter surrounding sections. But it's too thick. It tapers outwards too much, and it won't let it sit in there. Uh, and it, it won't go back together. So what I thought about doing is actually taking this and cutting it, and making it only half the depth. In the meantime, I want to go ahead and take my Dremel and remove the inner sections here on the side vents. Now the cutting bit should make quick work of this plastic. And the reason I'm doing this is because in the off chance I decide to put a kyber crystal or some sort of you know, structure that looks like a kyber crystal, I'm going to need it to be visible. And that was kind of my first instinct is to open up this whole area so you could look straight through the lightsaber. I'm now thinking that I might not put a kyber crystal in here, but I still want to have uh, some sort of, uh, you know, vent or emitter here on the side of these little quillins. So I'm going to take out this structure anyway. And I have a couple ideas about what I could use for these side emitters. Um, again, sprinkler heads are really, really handy to have. And I have a couple of broken ones that I've been able to kind of source parts out of. It has a kind of neat industrial look without it being too heavy and still being manageable to work with. Plus the fact is that I have a ton of different parts and pieces because I have a lot of broken sprinkler heads. You break them, you mow your lawn, you snap them off, or you know they wear out over time. So I was able to uh, source a couple parts. It doesn't have to be 100% accurate or perfect, but it should look close enough so that it gives the impression of there being some form of um, structure on the inside, some form of crystal or an emitter to focus the energy. And I think if I remember correctly, the lore states that uh, Kylo uses a cracked kyber crystal, so it's inherently unstable, hence why he has the vents that come out the side of the lightsaber, because there's so much raw power flowing through the crystal that it needs to vent off the excess energy, and that comes out of these vents, I guess, which would be considered like quillins or like a handguard of some sort. So it's kind of a cool idea, but I'm going to work on this and get this all cleaned up and pull out these support structures and get this open so we can see right through it. And we'll be back, show you what I have going. All right, everybody. So I've been working a bit off camera, and this is what I've come up with. This is my basic emitter that I've created here out of sprinkler heads and just your basic part. And let me show you what I have done to create that emitter look. I'm actually quite proud of this. Just kind of fell into place, you know? So I've got these parts right here, and these are all from a Rainbird sprinkler head. This is what's left of it. This white part fits down on top of this. This part here comes off of a different base, and then we have the sprinkler head itself, and we have the riser that pops up. I took it apart, pulled out the spring, and this actually fits right on top of this ledge in here. It fits perfectly. It's the correct diameter for the inside of the lightsaber, and it fits on that ledge, and it should be secured. A little bit of epoxy, and that thing's not going anywhere. So I pulled apart the internals here, and this is going to slip up through this area right here, and this is going to thread on to the very top of this. And as you can see, this all kind of fits together, and it's adjustable, which is really cool, because I can go ahead and screw this all together, push this up, so I have it about where I need it to be, drop some epoxy on there, and it should all stay in place. That's hopefully my plan of action. So whether or not this actually works, we'll have yet to see but it should hopefully work well. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the epoxy now. And I went over to Target and I picked up a, a vial or a little plunger 
of five minute epoxy. It's a self mixing epoxy. So I'm going to go ahead and try that and glue some of these parts down. So we're going to take this apart. You can see the uh, sprinkler head comes right off. Um, we have this like, I guess a little added detail, I guess, for the emitter. I'm going to put that back on and we know we don't need this internal, uh, I guess it's a filter. So let's just pull this out here. This, we'll just screw this back on and we should be able to adjust it where we need it to be and we'll glue it all down and we're looking good. Okay, so I've taken my five minute epoxy and I've epoxied this white, um, I guess, washer down to it and this stuff works great. It says Loctite, five minute. It's a self-mixing kind. I would highly recommend it. It's definitely working well. So what I wanted to do now is I wanted to test fit the other section, the actual emitter part of this. And I fooled around a little bit with ways to get this in there, and I think this is the best way. So I go ahead and slide this plunger through this opening. We'll take this top sprinkler head, and we're going to screw this down, kind of screw it together. Might need to uh, be careful with it. I don't want to pull this thing apart. Yep, okay, that's going all right. So once I screw this together, I'll then be able to adjust the height, drop a little bit of epoxy on that, and we'll have this more or less ready for final assembly. Okay, so we are going to have to go ahead and throw some epoxy on this thing now. So let's uh, reattach the syringe here. Just a matter of fitting it in and clicking it locked closed. And let's go ahead and grab this. And what I want to do is position this whereabouts I would like it to be. Right about there looks pretty decent. Yeah, so I'm going to pull it out a little bit. And we're going to dump some of this epoxy right up along this joint. And I don't want a lot. I just want enough to hold this. So a little bit right up in here. There we are. Perfect. And now let's pull this back a bit so I don't dry out the tip of this. Put this off to the side. All right. So I'm going to move this around a little bit, turn this, spread that epoxy on the inside. Uh, move it in and out a little bit just to get the epoxy nice and spread around. And we're going to get it about where we want it to be. And that's it. We're going to leave it there. We're going to let that dry. Next episode, we're going to come back and we're going to work on the belt clip. And we're going to work on the exterior part of that. We also need to figure out the um, internal emitters for the side blades. But i got a couple ideas for that. So we'll come in next time and I'll show you what we do for that. We're coming down to the wire, guys. We have just a couple of weeks before this thing has to be, you know, on the belt for my Kylo costume. So time is running short. But I think this is a really good step in the right direction because we got the emitter. It's going to be a decent enough looking emitter where it's going to give the, uh, the impression of having something there. And we are going to have a nice Kylo Ren prop lightsaber hilt. I think I like the look of it. I think it looks the part. It doesn't have to be perfect, just close enough i'm pleased so like i said next time guys we're going to come back we're going to go ahead and work on the side emitters we're going to work on the you know overall paint job we have that wire we have the bottom you know part of the hilt we need to go ahead and epoxy that on and we have to worry about the belt clip we have to figure out how to do the belt clip so tune in next time guys we're going to really kick it into high gear and we're going to start finishing up this lightsaber get this thing sealed so we can get it on our belt all right guys until next time May the force be with you, and we'll see you soon.